Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're talking about treating your chips with oil. Now, before we start, the only oil I'm going to talk about here is mineral oil. Do not, do not use boiled linseed oil. Do not use motor oil. We're talking about very specifically high grade mineral oil. Okay, this boiled linseed oil, for example, actually cures. You can see this is it right here and actually polymerizes and it's like putting glue on your chips. All right, so don't ruin your chips. Uh, same thing with like motor oils don't want to you don't put anything toxic on your chips so we're you're talking about mineral oil right here usp so that's a high high grade of mineral oil meant to actually be ingested so this is actually food safe this is our cutting board treatment mineral oil okay we don't this isn't actually the medicinal one we have a separate one up in our medicine cabinet this is purely for our cutting board treatment it's a wood treatment just because it's food safe okay and you can see right here purpose intestinal lubricant if you don't know what that means uh yeah have your i ask your mom to draw you a picture about what that means now we're going to discuss some of the ideas behind treating chips with mineral oil the first thing is appearance uh, it's going to give your chips kind of a glossy look and that's in my opinion probably the most the the best reason why people do it other reasons include reducing smell like for example china clay sometimes like these majestics will come with kind of a a burnt plastic smell and so people will apply that to kind of help reduce the smell um, you can also help you know use it for kind of cleaning chips instead of using water soap and water any other kind of cleaner and uh, people also say and i've talked to people personally who suggest this they're like well it protects your chips uh, okay we'll talk about that too and uh it's uh and some people actually like the uh the lubricant feel of their chips like that does that make sense so whether it be slightly tacky or slippery whatever it is they they appreciate that now before we dive into my thoughts about all of that remember that we're talking about not like for example ceramics i would never ever 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 recommend anybody oil ceramics okay they're already pretty slick they're a really hard plastic uh they are not very textured and so there's not there's no pores there's no texture to really fill in with oil and so this would be a poor place to apply any kind of oil because it will just wipe right off all right so that's kind of pointless with china clays you'll see there's more of a difference you can see on the cross the top right here maybe on these majestics you can see some dark spots where my fingers have actually touched them i have some oil on my fingers just handling this stuff so uh, and what's one of the interesting things about mineral oil should we dive into the discussion right now so from an appearance standpoint um it will you know give your chips this kind of a wet look so you can i'm not sure if you'll be able to see the contrast here between the like the this these black chips these 100 majestics they have kind of a white powder from manufacturer on them and when you apply oil you can see just the residual oil from handling this on my fingers we'll take that off can you see that the contrast here between this ooh shiny black and this kind of powdery white residue on the chip all right so immediately the appearance absolutely it does make a difference in appearance um secondly you know secondarily <laughs> what about cleaning yeah you can clean your chips with this um is it any more effective than anything else uh, in my opinion no but you do have that added appearance benefit okay so there you go i mean it's you it's noticeable it, the appearance thing is not a myth it does give your chips this uh kind of a wet oiled look is that what you're looking for i don't know now that said what about some of these other things we discussed for example smell does it reduce the smell of china clays for me i applied this to my my craps table milano's what was it last year or the year before i can't remember and it took the smell down a little bit now there are a lot of variables in this did, well, did it smell less did it did they stink less because i cleaned off all that extra powder um that coating of oil did that actually seal in the smell i don't know how much of it was cleaning and how much of it was actually trapping that smell in i don't know but i would say it reduced the smell of my milanos ooh, maybe 20 to 50 percent 
It didn't get rid of the smell, it just kind of helped. So take that for what it's worth. That's just anecdotal evidence, my personal experience. Now let's go ahead and see if we can clean this all off right here. And one interesting thing about mineral oil is you have to remember that mineral oil always stays mobile. Okay, unlike boiled linseed oil, this will never cure. Okay, so you soak a rag in this, you leave it in a bowl for a year, you come back and you wring that rag, mineral oil will just drip out of it. Okay, it's not going to turn into a hard plastic like boiled linseed oil. Uh, don't do that with boiled linseed oil because it's exothermic and you can start a fire. So you want to watch out when you handle stuff like that. So can you see the difference here? Maybe I can put this in the middle here. Can you see the difference between the chip with some oil on it and the chips without oil on it? So obviously appearance. Smell we addressed. Um, texture is another kind of an interesting point here. I like the chalky feel of the chips. And, and these are China clays. So remember, you don't apply it to ceramics. Only China clays, Paulsons, uh, people will apply oil to because they have that more chalky feel and they have kind of this powdery residue sometimes on them. Yeah, okay. So it gives you a different appearance, whether you like it or not, that's subjective. Um, it may reduce smell a little bit. There's some evidence to support that. And the texture. So I like the chalky texture. I prefer the chalky texture over the oily texture. Again, this comes down to a subjective thing. You, you know, I... Do, do I, would I recommend you try it? Maybe not even. It might not even be worth it if you're not sure. Now, the other thing about protection. I really question how much this is going to protect your chips. Uh, will it attract more dirt than dust? It's possible. Oh, is it going to protect your chip? What is it going to protect your chips from? Well, any kind of oil-based anything can contaminate mineral oil, okay? Because it's always mobile, um, the mineral oil is going to be transferred to your fingers which, by the way, isn't necessarily a bad thing because they put mineral oil, high-grade mineral oil, not necessarily the super highest grade, but they put mineral oil in lotions and stuff, and it helps trap moisture into your skin. So it's not a terrible thing to have on your skin, but it will transfer to your felt, it will transfer to your skin, it will transfer to other things, and it will transfer, which means you'll have to reapply it after who knows how long. Depends on how often you play with your chips and what kind of surface you're rubbing them on and how often you clean them and all sorts of stuff. Will it protect them from water-based products? My experience is slightly. It will give you a, a little bit of protection, not to a point where I would want to ever soak them in water. All right, so you know, project, protection is also kind of a subjective thing because you get your thumb grease, you get oils, other natural oils, other oils from other projects you might be working on onto your poker chips and then they're contaminated with those other oils. But would that happen anyway if it weren't treated with mineral oil? The answer is probably yes, so does it really make a difference? You see how it can be really, it really doesn't have that much of an effect necessarily. Uh, water products, what, like saliva, spit, drinking apple juice at the table, Coke, alcoholic beverages maybe, a little tiny bit of protection from the mineral oil. Is it gonna make a difference in the long run? My experience is not really because it just wears off so quick because it always stays mobile. So we come back to, it comes back to a looks thing. Do you like, do you like the looks and is it worth your time to oil all of your chips just to have those looks? Now, what are my opinions about it? And maybe you can guess from my attitude about this whole thing. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, after I tried it, it's just a waste of time my, for me personally. Now, if somebody else wants to oil their chips, I'm not going to criticize them and be like, oh, you're you're not cool. You're not smart because you oiled your chips. Not at all. I support that. I'm like, good. Your chips will look beautiful. It's a decision that you made. But I want to point something out about us as people sometimes. Sometimes our hobbies dominate too much of our lives. For example, the number one killer of a bonsai tree is the owner. Oh, I have a bonsai tree. I'm going to water it 17 times a day and just always move it around and try to make sure I rotate it to get enough sun and it dies in, you know, two months. And they're just like, how did I kill my bonsai tree? Because you just gave it too much. I pruned it three times a day and I tightened all the wires and you're just like, all right, you know, you just need to let it grow. Same with poker chips. I, that's my personal opinion. Just let them be poker chips. If you want to clean them off a little bit, clean them off a little bit. Uh, if you want to apply mineral oil, apply mineral oil. Is it something that I'm going to do? No. Is it something that I would recommend? No. And again, 
the only categories of chips that I would oil are China clays and Paulson's. Those are the only two that are ever in the discussion because ceramics uh, won't hold that oil very well. They don't have that texture of the China clays. Now, I wouldn't use the term porous, you know. Oh, and the other thing about humidity and water-based products. Remember, plastic isn't exactly affected by humidity. It's not like wood, like our cutting board, okay, that I treat with mineral oil. That cutting board, if we stripped all the oil off of it and just let it get wet and dry and wet and dry and wet and dry, that wood would swell and contract and that the wood grain would start to come apart and you'd see that separation there and the wood would actually have water damage to it. Plastic doesn't have that problem. So you're not really protecting the chip from being damaged and you may not be increasing the longevity of it at all. But remember, so like that next gen material, often it's called like true clay, even though it's just a plastic, won't take mineral oil. It just won't hold very much of it all. Maybe you get the thinnest film coat on it, but is that really gonna improve the looks? My experience is no, not at all. Here, I have one right here. Let's grab this one. Okay, I haven't touched this with oil. Okay, do you see that red color? Let me wipe some oil. And do you see a difference there? You see, it's very, you know, this material is very plasticky. Same with ABS chips, metal insert chips. It's just not gonna make a difference, okay? So any other chip besides China clays and Paulson's, pointless. So that's my take on oiling your chips. I. I think, it, you know, the one thing that is obvious is it does change the, it can, depending on how clean they are, change the appearance of your chips. But again, just give some people at your table some lotion, and then you'll get a very similar look at the end of the game. Anyway, I hope that, hope that uh, incites some interesting conversation. Again, there are people out there that know a lot more than I do about all of this stuff, and I am not an expert. I'm very much an amateur just looking for awesome poker chip sets genuinely, and I wanted to share my personal experience, and this is just one little data point in the whole world of poker chips. So hope this helps somebody out there and maybe lead to an interesting discussion. Now we're gonna have a quick kind of discussion about uh, the how-tos of oiling chips. Now I've done this once, and this is I'm just telling you what I did, and this isn't maybe like an instructional how-to, but this is, uh, the thinking behind it. So, I, for example, I just took all my chips and I just laid them out on my my uh, workbench, which is a um, polyurethane coated workbench. It was just a wooden workbench. I didn't mind getting it oily. Um, I laid all my chips out like this. There were like 400 Milanos. Maybe it was 300 at the time. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, it was for my craps table. I took mineral oil and I put some on a rag like this. Just put some on a rag. Ooh, that's pretty dirty. But you know, you get the idea. And I just dabbed each chip. And at that point, just a little dab of oil was enough to get to cover the whole chip. So I took the same rag, different rag, I don't remember, and took each chip, each individual one, three, 400 of these, and just went like this with it, and then threw it in the pot, okay? Now, uh, there are some things to discuss. Like, number one, I did not want to, and I'm not sure if it would really affect them, but because these had sticker inlays, I did not saturate these in oil so I didn't just throw these in a bucket full of mineral oil and then pull them out you know wipe them down I just wanted to get a really thin coat on mostly like you know for looks and for smell so that's what I did uh, it was pretty effective but you know is there a quicker way to, than to wipe each chip down individually if there is leave a comment and there'll be people that have lots of experience doing this and they'll be able to point all of us in the right direction but as far as I'm concerned that uh, that was uh, kind of a waste of time for me, but it was a good experience and I learned some things from it. So we look forward to reading your comments and hopefully we'll have uh, some experts weigh in and uh, maybe there's a really, really efficient way to oil your chips. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe.